A few years ago, someone I know had their first occlusion and they dealt with it extremely well. But it was a hard weekend with multiple visits and treatments and a full 48 hours devoted to solving this problem for their patient. Afterwards, she felt a terrible sense of fear about restarting and she emailed me. How can I ever avoid this happening again? What can I do differently? What can I do better? I'm going to share my ideas about how you can be safer, particularly when you're injecting the filtrum, which is where this particular occlusion occurred. Let's look at the anatomy. The artery from a frontal view often runs parallel and even within the columns. It's a branch of the superior labial artery, which we know is most commonly underneath the orbicularis oris muscle, but sometimes within it and rarely superficial to it. The columella artery, according to Godava's studies, has two branches to it, a deep and a superficial branch. The deep contributes blood supply to the nasal septum, which is in itself important to know, as a VO in the lip could be affecting this important area. The superficial part naturally must become superior to the orbicularis oris muscle and is likely to be more vulnerable to the needle. So we must consider the curve of the filtrum and the nasolabial angle, and naturally this means the artery must make its way into the path of a straight needle pointed straight at the nose. So this is one of the key take homes, which is if you're going to inject the filtrum, remember that the deeper your needle gets, the closer it is gonna to get to the columella artery. So what can we do to become safer? We could limit treating the lower two thirds of the filtrum. This is an easy way to become safer because the more superior you get, the closer that artery will become. Of course, be very conscious of depth of your needle and the tendency for it to go deeper into the muscle in the curved filtrum. To help you control depth, it can help to pinch the filtrum into a straighter shape to fit with the shape of your needle. We get positive aspirations at the top quite often in aesthetics and there is no need to go quite so deep in most people. The needle is running parallel to the artery, so you could also increase the number of aspirations. When you're doing a linear thread, you can aspirate as many times as you like. Two or three times, I think, would significantly increase the sensitivity of aspiration in terms of picking up being in an artery. Mathematically, each negative aspirate is decreasing the probability somewhat of being in an artery prior to injecting. And it takes no time at all once you've got used to it. It causes no harm, so the benefits, in my view, outweigh the risks quite clearly. If you do suspect a vascular occlusion, remember the anatomy. Check the philtrum, columella, and the nose tip and look inside the nostrils towards the septum. Get a cotton bud or a Q-tip and have a look for capillary refill in each area carefully. Okay, so those are my reflections on how to decrease risk while treating the columella. Can you think of any more? Drop your questions and comments down below and don't forget to like if you've learned something new from the show.